It's 362 miles by car from Kittery to Fort Kent. It's only 300 by air. So if the old adage is true, it would take spring about 30 days to creep across Maine. Who else in their right mind would actually do this? Doing live shots and social media stops along the way, it took us more than 10 and a half hours. So let's start in Kittery, where by Maine standards, the grass is always green. Kirk, you ready for this? I'm ready for this. On May 9th, coming across the bridge from New Hampshire, the trees were budding and leaves were just starting to appear. Spring was springing, and we were off to see if spring comes north 10 miles a day. I think we're going to find that that's just about true. On Portland's western prom, trees were budding, but about five days behind, which was right because Portland is 50 air miles north of Kittery. Next stop, our state capital in Augusta, 53 air miles north of Portland. It was hard to tell much difference, but in general it seemed there was less fauna. Unfortunately, we weren't traveling by air. I think that we're going to have about seven hours <laughs> of talking about nothing and terrible Nobody. puns. Oh, Kirk is a punster, and sometimes it hurts. Bill, do you, uh, do you need an arc? I now know it. Noah? No. Uh, I don't think so. Because I know a guy. No, uh, Bill, do, do I need, need an arc? I, I'm not expecting any flooding. Well, if you do, I know a guy. Uh, uh, Noah! Uh, yeah. Oh, let's turn on the radio. We had lunch in Bangor, my favorite, and the leaves and buds were bursting. I thought a little ahead of the game. That might make sense because 95 turns due east at Newport, and Bangor is just 59 air miles from Augusta. And so it went. By the time we reached snow capped Katahdin, the wind and rain were moving in, shrouding the big mountain. We had sort of reached what we called the bud line. In spots like Holton, the boy in the boot was still in hibernation. In Prescal, not much was going on. And around sunset, we made it to Fort Kent. Oh my goodness, now this isn't legitimate snow, but it is, it's snow. Our observation, the old guide was wrong, but just by a little bit. I think spring doesn't come north at 10 miles a day. I think it comes a little more, like 14 or 15. I don't think very northern Maine is as far behind southern Maine as 30 days. So don't worry, Lewis and Clark, two less than scientific people have explored Maine and recorded our observations that spring may be a little faster than we think. Once it finally gets here, what do you think by looking at these pictures?